All right, we're going to cover a couple uh, treatment planning topics. So first one, how does your TPS do registrations? What the difference between deterministic and stochastic IMRT optimizations are? What is volume sampling in terms of IMRT optimizations? And then what is the tongue and groove effect? So first, two ways of doing TPS registrations. We have number one, feature-based, and number two, intensity-based. So now the feature-based, you're trying to do essentially reduce the re root mean square distance. So you are going to align structures and that's going to minimize the root mean square distance to those points. And hence you have a registered and fused images intensity is automatic and it's with a tps specific algorithm so a lot of those are kind of black boxes each one i'm sure has their own but it's intensity based that's pretty much all you need to know now difference between deterministic and stochastic so let's start with a deterministic then we'll also talk about the stochastic Man, it's really hard to write today for me. So the deterministic, this is also called gradient if, you know, IMRT optimization. So IMRT minimizes the cost function at all costs. It gets caught in local minima. So this isn't ideal uh, because, again, we don't want those local minima. It minimizes cost function and... Uh, local minima. So that ultimately you're going to get result that may not be the best because it gets caught in those local minima and it has no way of digging itself out. Whereas stochastic is what we use. You put in a desired criteria, each field is broken into beamlets, the beamlet weights is optimized to meet that criteria, and then the optimized fluence is converted to an MLC sequence. So it's more iterative and what we use. That's all I'm going to put. You can do a little more research, but that's really all you need to know about the two differences. It is important to know the differences. That's something you definitely could get asked, but just know the main differences that we use stochastic and deterministic isn't that great. So what is volume sampling? So optimization uses structures with constraints to assign a number of sample points based within a random pattern to focus on calc time and focus on regions of importance. So that's what volume sampling is. It kind of makes sense. And you can also use that to your advantage when you're doing optimizations, where if you have a very large structure that you're trying to optimize against, well, it's going to put random points, but there is, it may be so big that it's going to be a little harder to optimize against compared to if you have a small, small structure, which is often why we have spinal cord and then PRV spinal cord. And when you optimize against both those, it really pushes hard on it. So that's essentially volume sampling. You have those sample points and they're in a random pattern. And that really helps you reduce calc time and focus on the regions of importance. Because if you had that entire large structure with calc points in it, then, or sample points rather, then it's going to take a lot longer. Finally, the tongue and groove effect. If two MLC fields are added, you can see an underdose because of the sum of the tongue and groove is less than that of a open field. So a couple treatment planning questions here. If you have any comments on those or questions, please let me know. Important things to, to do a review and know moving forward. You never know when they may push these and a kind of subsequent or secondary question when you're doing your oral exam. So best of luck. We'll see you next time.